This is the pharmacy, we're in your neighborhood You need some drugs, and we've got the goods This is the pharmacy, customers can be mean They cut you out just for offering the vaccine This is the pharmacy, where life is not fair Because corporate puts metrics over patient care This is the pharmacy, we sell you OTC if you want to defend, we'll need to see some ID. This is the pharmacy, life is so hectic because corporate got so many damn metrics. This is the pharmacy, we treat anxiety, work is so stressful, we need psychiatry. This is the pharmacy, we got buy one, get one free. If you don't like safe sex, then we've got plan B. This is the pharmacy, where work is no treat. We do the best we can. Welcome to Pharmacy Street. And a pharmacist is gonna to have to verify this fake prescription. Okay, where we at? He's in the bathroom right now. In the bathroom? Bet. I'll go get him. Yo, is the pharmacist. <coughs> it's bathroom stink like a motherfucker. God damn. Hey, are you the pharmacist? No, I'm not the pharmacist. Okay then. Why are you taking this shit with a white coat on? Sir, why are you peeping through the door? Damn, that lab coat gonna have shit stains. I hope you wash that motherfucker before you go back to work. Sir, what do you want? I'm trying to use the restroom. Look, dude at the counter said he can't fill my prescription till you check it. And I got other shit to do today, so I'm gonna need you to hurry up. <laughs> Look. I'm shitting as fast as I can. <laughs> Look, I ain't no doctor, but it smells like your ass need a fucking colonoscopy. And make sure you wash your hands before you touch my prescription. Okay. Can I get some alone time? Hey boss, these customers dropped off this prescription that I'm a thousand percent sure is fake. Just tell them that you have to verify it and they'll probably just take the script back. You know the pharmacy on Washington Street about 10 minutes away? Yeah, they denied a customer that promethazine was coding because the prescription was fake. And the customer beat up the pharmacy staff. Okay, let me see that prescription. <sighs> I'm tired of all these fake prescriptions from Dr. Patel's office. I know he didn't put yes for refills and nah for substitution. <sighs> let me go talk to him. Okay, sir. I'm going to have to call and verify this prescription. Hey, big homie in the white coat. What you mean you need to verify that prescription? The doctor wrote it. It's already been verified. Man, I don't want no trouble. Ah. Okay. Let me see if we have the medicine. Man, this prescription looks faker than Kim I K. I bet. You do that. Hey, when you go check on that, I'm going to finna go grab some Sprite, Jolly Ranchers, and some cups. All right, for sure. I went to go check, and we're out of stock. Damn. You know who else might got it? No, sir. The medication is on back order. You wouldn't be lying to me, big homie, now, would you? No. All right. Give my damn script back. Okay. Can you drop off Mrs. Johnson's prescription on your lunch break? Yeah, I could do that. Okay. I swear, every time I get ready to go on break, a customer shows up. Hey, look, it's Chris Rock. Hey, um, how much is a Plan B pill? Forty-six eighty-nine. Forty-six dollars ninety-nine cent. Damn, that's a lot of money. Um, do y'all got any Plan D pills in the clear session? <laughs> Actually, it's the D that got me in this situation in the first place. Um, do y'all have any Plan C pills? I mean, I could fly first class on the Spirit Airlines cheaper than that. Hey, can you give me a price check on these condoms for me? Those are $8.99. $8.99 for some condoms? Damn, that's a lot of money. Um, what aisle do you keep the party balloons at? The pharmacy technician, um... Which house is yours? My house is the third on the left. Okay. The house with the three people standing in front of it? Yeah, baby. 
They're my nephews. Yeah, they harmless. Okay, you sure? You sure it's, it's safe for me to drop it off? And I'm just asking because I see all three of them have on ankle bracelets. And you know, they don't give that out to just anybody. You gotta do something to get one of them. Oh, baby, they ain't do nothing serious. They ain't murder nobody. Just a little armed robbery. Okay. Just give them my medicine, please. Well, I'm going to get out and give them uh, your prescription. Okay, bye-bye. <sighs> Let me go drop this prescription off. Yo, is that that dude from the pharmacy over on the pharmacy street? Yeah, that's him. I can't believe them fools ain't had that lean. I know. I was going to be sipping on that scissor. For real? My aunt was in the hospital. She was coughing like a motherfucker. Her doctor sent a prescription over for it. I picked it up a few minutes ago. They definitely got some. Oh, them fools try to plague us then. Hey, homie, I heard you lie to us. And you got that medicine in stock. Come over here, fool. Oh, that fool running. All right, let's get him. Man, I got to find another job. Between corporate overworking us and corporate not protecting us from these crazy customers, I can't work retail pharmacy anymore. Can I get a tall, skinny macchiato and a job application? Yeah, I can get that for you. I'll get you an application because actually we're hiring. Even though we have five people and are overstaffed, the company wants to add somebody else because they want to make sure the customers get their coffees accurately and safely. This company here cares about its employees and its customers. I gotta get out of retail pharmacy. Yeah, we gonna get them fools. We gonna wait in the parking lot till they get off the work and I'm gonna lean my foot in their ass. Hell yeah, you know how much that bottle of lean would have went for on the street? Them fools messing with our paper. You should hop over the counter and just take that shit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now turn my music back on. <laughs>